The human brain is an incredible organ that has the power to imagine and create anything that we can dream of. It is the driving force behind our creativity, and yet there's still so much we don't know about how it generates new ideas. In this video, we'll explore the neuroscience of creativity and how the brain functions to produce creative thoughts. We'll take a deeper look at the different areas of the brain involved in creativity and the various processes that occur when we're creative. Firstly, let's define the term creativity. Creativity is not just about artistic expression. It can manifest in various forms such as science, music, literature, and even business. Creativity is the ability to generate new and innovative ideas and combine them in different ways to produce something unique. Now, let's take a closer look at the brain areas involved in creativity. The prefrontal cortex and the insula are two critical regions of the brain that play a vital role in creativity. The prefrontal cortex is responsible for decision-making and planning, while the insula is known to play a critical role in processing emotions, perception, and self-awareness. Another crucial area is the reward system in our brain, which mainly involves the dopamine system. Dopamine is the neurotransmitter responsible for the feeling of pleasure and reward. This system activates when we experience a sense of satisfaction upon completing a task or getting positive feedback. Research suggests that creativity is linked to an increase in dopamine levels in the brain. When we come up with creative ideas, our reward system is activated, and we feel a rush of satisfaction and pleasure. Despite the complexity of the brain, we can also break down the creative process into several stages. The first stage is the preparation stage, where we gather information and knowledge related to the task at hand. The second stage is incubation, where we let our minds rest, and our subconscious takes over, processing the information we've gathered. The third stage is the illumination stage, where the creative idea suddenly pops into our minds. This is the aha moment that we all experience. The final stage is the verification stage, during which we evaluate the creative idea and decide whether to implement it or not. Studies have also shown that creativity is not just an individual talent but can be enhanced through various techniques. One such technique is mindfulness, which involves being present and aware of what's happening around us. Mindfulness has been shown to increase the brain's ability to generate new ideas. Another way to enhance creativity is to take a break from the task at hand. Our brains need rest, and taking time away from the task can help the subconscious mind work on it. Exercise and meditation have also been shown to help enhance creativity by reducing stress levels and increasing dopamine levels in the brain. In conclusion, creativity is not just about talent or genetic inheritance. It's a complex process that involves various brain areas and stages. Understanding the neuroscience of creativity can help us appreciate the importance of creativity in our lives and provide practical techniques to enhance it. So, if you're feeling stuck or in a creative rut, take a break, practice mindfulness, and allow your mind to rest. Who knows what kind of creative idea might emerge next?